Welcome back to another episode. Um, we're going to call this a terror investigation, okay? Because even though we kind of know what happened to him, but we kind of want to see, um, is there a deeper message that we need to learn concerning Mr. Damar Hamlin? Um, he's a rookie football player, or at least that's what I saw. He was signed as a rookie. I don't know if he's still a rookie as of today, or is this his second year, third year? I don't know. But from what I read, the article I read, that this young man was playing in a, a game that... Um, was highlighted okay a highlight game that everybody was waiting for um looking forward to um two teams were playing against each other it's a i guess a robber team a robbery team everybody was looking forward to this game the game starts off okay everything is normal he does this young man right here damar hamlin does his first tackle after he does his tackle he stand up and take one step and then he collapse on the field okay <sighs> this touches my heart a lot, okay? Um, because, you know, like I said, this is a young man, college student, such a bright future ahead of him, playing in a game that he clearly loved. He probably played all his life. If we, if you got a son, you know, if your son probably played football. I know mine did play football most of all their, their lives um, and basketball. But I did have a moment where football, to me, was getting a little too rough and too dangerous. I didn't like how hard those hits were getting um, and how hard they had to hit. So I kind of like kind of tried to pull my boys back and put them in basketball, uh, leaning towards more towards basketball than other sports. Um, even though one continued to play. Um, uh, but, um, Damar Hamlin, um, for, for me, his parents experienced, um, the worst case scenario for their son who went to the NFL. You out there, you cheering for him. He out there, he made his first tackle, got the game going in a row, got the game going, and then he collapsed to the ground. And then he don't even get back up, y'all. He, he collapsed. They did CPR on him on the field, and I'm assuming they got his vitals, um, you know, to a, you know, decent, okay, because he, he, he didn't pass away on the field or anything like that, so uh, both teams came together and surrounded him, okay, in support of him, both teams, and then they took him to the back, and then they, uh, uh the team started pulling stuff from the field, which means that they wasn't, wasn't going to continue the game, uh, it was that serious, so they had to postpone the game until another day, uh, because, Clearly, DeMar was in a serious condition, and you just can't continue to play the game after that. So, we're going to kind of um, pull some cards from DeMar Hamlin in this situation. And see, you know, I don't know exactly what this reading is going to tell us, um, but I'm going to pull some cards and see. Is there a message that we need to know? Um, is there something we need to know uh, concerning this situation so that we can be aware? Okay, so uh, let's get started. Okay, Divine Angels, if you could, please give me the best cards from this deck. To, des to describe the situation between with Damar Hamlin um, and his collapse on the football field. And what message do we need to know concerning this situation? Okay, this is so sad. Okay, because I can just imagine with his family. I mean, just out there cheering for him. And then he out there really showing out. He out there performing. And then by performing, he, oh, he fall to the ground. That's, 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 that's too much. And because I've been in uh, football games um, and I've seen other people, kids, um, you know, either get hurt or injured. Okay. And, and, you know, you can tell that sometimes it's a leg injury, it can arm or something like that. But even then that still kind of throws the game off and, and, and it kind of puts you in a certain type of mode or vibe after that happens in a game so i can and then most of the time you know everybody take a knee everybody be quiet until the the players back up and then ready to play again and then we clap and then we continue with the game but in this situation it didn't happen that way you know he didn't uh get up well he did get up and walk and then he passed out but he was um pushed off on the stretcher i'm assuming from the field and that's so scary so let's just put let's, let's just get into it i'm sorry divine angel again give me the best cards from this deck to to let us know what we need to know about the situation with damar um hamlin and him collapsing on the football field And he, and he wasn't that big. He was kind of little from what I saw. 
you know, to be a football player. And then he's rookie, which means he's younger than the rest of them. You know, even though he's young and probably fast and all that, but it's still, um, that's a lot for him to be playing against professional men, professional I don't want to say monsters because they're not monsters per se, but they like beasts. They in beast mode. They big. They ready for the game. They they skin is tough. Um, they got their hard equipment on. Um, and then him being young, coming from high school, going to the NFL. That's a that's a big. I mean, not high school. I'm sorry. From college to NFL, even that's a big leap and big jump. Even though the, those college college players are big as well, but. Uh, Girl, it's a it's a lot. It's just it's just pulling on my heartstrings, okay? But the first card we got here, we got the Queen of Swords. Now this speaking of a uh, woman over twenty five years old, brown eyes, brown hair, somebody that's cold, hard, demanding, authority. Now we got a feminine energy here. That's an older feminine energy um, that's kind of demanding some type of authority and respect, some kind of truth, some kind of. Um, it's like looking forward, okay? Matter of fact, very matter of fact, this person, okay? Then we got this uh, two of pentacles with money confusion, juggling two situations or ideas around. Next, we got this devil energy in the middle of his reading, okay? Now, this is something about jealousy or trouble. Now, some type of trouble here, but it says that um, he will be able to break the chains that are binding him or holding him back. There was something that was binding him or holding him back. And then we got the full card. It says good friends, happiness, needing to take a, a leap of faith forward here. With the four ones, happy home. Okay, a possible country settling, maybe moving. Okay, across seas, maybe moving um, coastal water somewhere. But um, it's also talking about uh, want to be happy in your home. Want to be happy where you are. Okay. Then we got this uh, King of Swords energy, which speaks of a man over 25 years old with brown eyes, brown hair, who's cold, abrasive, demands respect. And then it's like somebody needs to move away from troubled waters, okay? It's like things are not what it seems. Um, it's like the you really need to move your boat, which means your boat represents a movement you need to you need to leave a situation that's troubling to go to a calmer situation because um, where you are right now is not good or healthy for you so uh, I'm you now just I'll talk because we're talking about him collapsing on the football field and we started off with this queen of swords here and then we got this king of swords here it's giving me dominant figures okay dominant figures that's in his life male female Okay, masculine, feminine energy that's demanding something from you. It's demanding you to give your all, push, uh, and and I respect that you. I, I respect that you'll get out there and just give your all. I'm just seeing a lot from the I'm, uh, maybe the team, maybe owners. Um, but it's like in order to you know get that money to get that money because some type of confusion, maybe a confusion when it comes to signing your contract, but. It was a lot of demand on him, okay? A lot of, um, like, you got to be tough. You got to go out there and you got to go out there and you be mean. You go out there and be rough, okay? It's like they wanted that type of um, energy from him. And it's like it was a lot for him that he probably needs to move away and not be. And I don't want to just say on his team because it, it could be the team or it can be a home situation, okay? Um, but it's almost like he's not happy. He, he may not. Now, I want to say not happy, okay? Because it's like this person, I see the food card here. And so it's like he was really trying to please whoever these people are, okay? Whoever these two dominant people is, the, the, the female, the man. This could be a mother and a father as well, okay? That's demanding you to go out there and play hard. Go out there and be tough. Go out there and give your all, okay? And it's like they have the authority over his life, okay? Whether it's a coach, owner, or parent. But it's like, it's trouble. It's some trouble here, okay? Now, he wanted to take a leap of faith forward, okay? Believing that this can be his way out. This this can be, he could probably was surrounded by people um, that were good friends, okay? But it's like he was taking a leap of faith forward with a fresh start, okay? Now, I don't know if he was the fresh start of him leaving home. Was home trouble? Or was his home team trouble? But it's something about a home that's troubling that he needs to get away from. He needs to break freight break free of this devil energy, this low vibrational energy that's kind of holding him and binding him. That's that's really stressing him out. It's a lot of stress here. 
Now, when somebody is that stressed and then you're playing this high impact game, you really need to have your head in the game. So it seemed like he was kind of, his head probably wasn't completely in the game. Or maybe he didn't make a a, a move the way, because the way you're supposed to hit somebody, is a certain way you're supposed to hit to protect you and to kind of protect that person. Okay. Now, I don't know if, his head was completely in the game and he hit somebody wrong okay because this is kind of like like how he was taught how he kind of either the coaches taught him that way parents taught him that way but some dominant figures over him kind of like you know because i've seen parents be hard you know they love their kids they want the best for their kids but you know some parents be pushing so hard when it comes to sports i've seen coaches do it Okay, I've seen coaches go crazy in, during the game, have to get put out. Okay, and the, girl, this is a little league, honey. So I can just imagine when you get to this type of league. But in the middle of his reading, it's definitely some low vibrational energy that you know, it either can be jealousy or some type of trouble. Tr trouble that's on his mind, trouble that's on his heart. Uh, but he's bound to um, whatever this is. Okay, I do see a male and a female here that he could be bound to, that he took an oath to, or he took a, a vow to, he, he vowed to do this, a vow to be great in this, okay? Um, but then again, like I said, the, whoever these two people are, they think they're helping the situation, but they just getting in his head and holding him back, okay? He not, he's not able to to go in and be with this new start and because he's juggling something that's in his head it's like his two situations that he's juggling in his head so it's like his head was not completely in this game now this right here is he want a happy home at the end result he wants this happy home and maybe even a possible because i see possible country settling which means a possible change of location a possible move from this location okay so that he can have a fresh start Okay, because he thought that this was a fresh start, but he was walking more into devil energy. This devil energy caused this juggling situation. Okay, he turned over here. He got this feminine energy that's demanding respect, so he got to go back towards this way. And then if he go anywhere towards, okay, now his home, now his home seems like it could possibly be peaceful, but it is followed by this king of swords energy. So it's a masculine energy here that seems like that's real dominant in his life. Okay, again, coach, father, okay grandfather is but it's an older man okay that he may have had brown hair but he could have gray hair as well but we got to, so much demand on him so much people demanding him to do stuff so. and then him being the respectful person he is or the person that he is he wants to provide he wants to do it okay and and i think the demand that they put on him is just too much okay it was just too much. So let's find out more about this Queen of Swords energy and Damaris Ham Hamlin's um, reading concerning his collapse on the football field. Okay. All right. So whoever this Queen of Swords is was heavy on his mind. Okay. I don't know what she said to him or whatever, but it, whatever she said played in his thoughts okay she was heavy on his mind whatever she said the cold words that she could have said the abrasive words that she could have said definitely was on his mind during this game heavily okay so let's see if we can find out what she was talking about what girl what she oh what that bitching about or fussing about or thinking she coaching about okay what were the thoughts that this king of swords um put on his mind what are the thoughts what was the thought? Oh. Okay, so the thoughts was definitely some dark thoughts, honey. Because we got the rat here. It's talking about mistakes. I mean, it could have been talking about the mistakes he made before. It could, you, girl, because, I, you know, you... And, and, I, and I ain't going to say I haven't done it before. You know, I not really talk about the mistakes that my son's made, but just kind of kind of give them pointers before they go out to the game or, or after the game or maybe even, you know, doing practice. I'm like, okay, how about you? Even though I don't know a lot about football, but the little information I got, girl, I'll be trying to share it, honey. Trying to help them, okay? But I don't be trying to be hard on them like that because I don't know enough to be hard. And then even though I want them to win, no, I don't 
I wouldn't be pushing them like, oh my God, you that girl. No, no, I wouldn't dare do that. But I have seen parents do that. I have definitely seen fathers do that. Now, I kind of understand when a father do it because, especially with a son, okay? Now, not saying this right, okay, but a father is just there to kind of make sure he's there to protect, he's watching, but he also want to make sure his son is giving his full potential, okay? So, but this is speaking about this Queen of Swords could possibly... Whatever she, he was, she told him was on his mind. It could be concerning some chaos, worries. He was worried. It could give him anxiety. But it, it speaks about problems, maybe some mistakes he probably made. Um, but it was worrying him and it, it made him, his mind kind of chaotic. Almost like he wasn't, he wasn't in his, his head wasn't fully in the game because of this Queen of Swords. Okay. And then we got the snake here. It speaks about somebody tricking, seducing. Uh, a, a, fem a female energy, maybe uh, some type of betrayal, deception, okay, create some type of obstacle, okay, also creating a difference, okay, maybe a difference of opinion, um, a difference, it's like, mom, you don't know about these plays, mom, I know what I'm doing, okay, but it calls some type of, um, like snake, like, like, I can't trust you, or because I can't believe you did this, it's, it's something like that. Okay, now, oh, this could be about a breakup. Because this right here, the sickle, is about a breakup, um, being separated. Um, and then it's a hard breakup. Because look, do you really need a knife like that to cut that, that rose? And then look how she gripping the rose, okay? So it's like a hard breakup. Like, and this was on his mind. This was on his head. And this also speaks about danger as well. Because it's dangerous the way she grabbing this rose. And it's dangerous how she cutting it with that sharp hook knife. So it's a lot of danger here. Now, this person could also be speaking about the mistakes that he made before. That could have led to a dangerous situation. Let's say he didn't tuck his head or he didn't protect himself properly. This person could also be telling him that as well and uh, and letting him know that you are in some type of danger or something. But this speaking of a breakup as well. And since this is talking about a, a woman, this could be a girlfriend as well. Now, unless he got an older girlfriend, because I don't, I, I didn't look him into that. Now, but this speaking of a woman that's either 25 years old or older, but she was, she said some hard stuff and it was on his mind, whoever she is. Okay. And then we got the moon here. So sister girl probably was doing some things behind closed doors. Uh, but it's like cycles of this. Whoever this person is does this all the time. Okay. And it's also about shadow. Which means this person don't show when they do it. It's like whenever they give it a so-called pep talk. It's like only it's only between them two. Okay. Or maybe this king of swords. Um, but this is cycles of drama. Cycles of um, delusions. Cycles of um, stuff being done this shadows and then his psyche is also about his cycle his his psyche his mental it's like his mental was at a dangerous level like he depth his head from just from this female was not in the game okay so he was juggling two situations here with this two of pentacles let's find out more about this two of pentacles energy here for damar and him collapsing again we're still speaking about this a mature woman here so now, was he juggling two situations and a woman found out about it? Okay. Fellas, okay. Get your heads in the game and stop getting your head and putting your head in using the wrong head. Let's say that. Okay. But this is a mature woman again. This this could also speak again a mother. Okay. I'm picking up mother. Um, an older woman. Okay. So, it's like he was juggling two situations around life situations, trying to balance it out with his pentacles. Balance his money out, balance the material out, balance out uh, life situations, balance out, you know, what was going on in his life. And he's trying to be stable, okay, but and not too much in his emotions because it's a lot of water behind him, okay. And the water starts to get shaky as the uh, reading go on, okay, which means feelings start to get shaky. Okay, then we got this devil energy. Give me more about this devil energy here. Why is this devil energy here for Damar Hamlin? Okay. Y'all, yeah, oh man. Poor thing. Girl, if he dating a cheerleader or whatever, she can't trust he can't trust her. And it seems like she older than him though. Okay, this speaks about courtship and the message that he received. It's a message that he received that really tore into him that had him thinking about what's going on with this female okay 
harsh. It's, it's, uh, it seemed like a fight that was going on between this female. And this could, if that's the female, this could be him, okay? Having a fight with this female, okay? And his head was not in the game. Give me more about this devil energy, courtship, and message for Jamar. Yeah, we got the mountain that popped out, which speaks about obstacles. There were some obstacles and problems here when it came to his dating life. There were some challenges and delays. Okay, something was blocking um, this relationship. Okay, it could be another partner coming in. Okay, she could be cheating. Um, but there were some challenges and delays here. Some barriers here. Blockages, obstacles. Let's find out more about the food card. We'll have the food card here for Damar. So it said the food was Damar. Damar was the food here. It's like he was trying to have good friends happiness. But it says you need to take a leap of faith forward. A new start. Like... It seemed like a new start from this trauma that was going on. So you can have a happy household, a happy home, a happy mental state. Okay. Happy where you are when you go to work. Because whatever this is, is bleeding into your work life. Okay. Your home life is bleeding into your work life. So give me more about this. Um, the, okay. Let's, let's find out more about this happy home here. Give me more about this four of ones here. Of Damar and him collapsing on the field. Give me more about this four of ones energy with the mark. Okay, let's see. It's a card that popped on the floor here. So, we already know there were some obstacles here for the main man. Okay, he wanted a new start. There were some obstacles here with this devil energy. Now, I don't know exactly what made the obstacles. I'm assuming it's another man. Okay, that's that's just kind of what you assume some cheating going on. Okay, but this when it comes to this uh, four of wands energy, it speaks about a gentleman, the black gentleman. The, okay, he's your young gentleman. Okay, masculine energy. Um, look at him, he's cute. Okay, but it's a locket here. Tenderness, very tender. Uh, cherishing, he cherished what he had at home, okay, uh, it could be, like I say, this could be his home team, cherish his home life, okay, he cherished it a lot, he held it dear to his heart, okay, he was very tender, tender about it, joyous, okay, and it's also speaking about family, this like it is family, okay, but then he found the letter of concern here, some type of correspondent, a document, communication here, it's some type of message that came in, okay, it could be a letter, Okay, that kind of held him down, that weighed him down, that created some burdens here. Okay, and this also uh, has something to do with his security. This could also do it with traveling. So this is traveling uh, when he's not home. It seems like when he's away from home and traveling, that's when he gets the concerns, concerning his family. It's like he's, because look how he's looking. He's, this car is looking over the, at the home. Okay, he's looking over at the locket. He's looking over at his home. Okay, he probably get the calling and, and then get burdened by it because sister girl ain't answering okay and that makes him turn into this king of sword energy maybe let's find out more about this king of swords energy here for damar okay what do you need to know about this king of swords energy for damar and him collapsing on the football field girl okay now this combination came out Sister girl probably pregnant, okay, having a baby or something like that. But that's some type of change, a newness, okay, a tenderness here. It's also speaking about an innocent, an innocent child here being born that pissed somebody off, okay, that pissed off this King of Swords energy. Now, like I say, if this is a father, this is his son, okay. Demar showing up as the son, okay, and it's like. It's like youthful energy, beginnings, newness, but this is a pregnancy, a birth, okay, and then this child. So, this it seems like some type of, this could be his father concerning him, or this could be him concerning a child with this female. Okay, then we're going to pull, we're going to find out about the six of swords energy. It's like he needs to move away from this toxic energy, okay, because things are not calm, 
Okay, the waters are very shaky. It's very murky where he is. And he needs to move away with the Six of Swords energy for his own mental sake. Okay, so give me more about the Six of Swords energy here. Put the mark and his collapse on the field, please. Okay. Okay, we got poverty. Aw. Okay, so I don't know what's, what was his lifestyle like. Okay, to go into the NFL. But this seems like a little boy that did not do not want to go back to this uh type of life, this poverty life, this lack type of life, not having, okay? And then again, we got rats up here on the hill with him. Okay, we got a rat over here. So it's like you need to move away. And it's, it's a child sitting here in this boat as well. So I don't know if he's trying to make sure he this career can be great so he can move his family out the hood. Okay, and daddy is hard on him. Okay, if I'm seeing daddy still here. But then I'm also seeing him being a, could possibly be a father here. It's a possibility if this young lady is pregnant, he may be down the the. Uh, uh, fraternity, I mean, not fraternity, yeah, paternity of the baby. Because speaking of a breakup here with family, somebody that he probably lived with this young lady, he probably, um, when he trapped, she probably lived in his house, and then when he traveling away, that's when she burdened, he feel burdened, okay? Because it's like when he call and try to check on her, she's nowhere to be found, and he's always, he's always thinking about home, okay? Always thinking and looking at home. But then we got this person right here with this gentleman, Okay, we got a different gentleman here that, that's creating a burden here. Okay, and this seems like this is an older woman here. Now, is mama cheating on daddy or is some girl cheating on him, girl? It, either way it go, it could be stressing this young man out. So, let's see. Let's pull some cards on this. Uh, his thoughts about this mature woman. Let's see if this really love or is, what is this, okay? What are the thoughts about this young, this mature woman, this older woman here? She knows she should know better, whoever she is. And I, okay, that turned up. Let me make sure. Okay. All right. So, what I know this came out is this, this. Okay. Now, when it comes to this mature woman, it's like a karmic relationship here. It's a relationship that's full of drama. Okay, she old enough to know better, whoever she is. She ain't showing up as a young girl. She's showing up somebody that's mature than him. Okay, this is somebody that's, it's a karmic relationship, which means it's a relationship here to teach you a lesson. Okay, and it ain't no good lesson, baby. I mean, at the end, if you learn it, it's a good lesson to learn. And so you won't do it again, but it's a hard lesson. This hurt. This is a karmic relationship. It's a hard relationship to go through because you think it's real. You try to keep it together and a karmic relationship is not easy to keep together. Okay. It's a hard relationship. So it says letting go and loving you. So in order to let this go, you got to love yourself. And most people who are in this relationship, this type of relationship don't love themselves. So that's hard for them to let go because by letting go, it's almost like they letting go the love of their life. But it's like, you don't want to be alone. You got some type of issue that you don't want to be alone. So you hold on to this toxic relationship that's not good for you. And this says love calls. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So again, it's like this is a relationship that whenever he leaves home, sister girl goes astray. Okay. She may be unable to be reached. Okay. When he calls and he calling because he miss her, he love her. And then the calls are not being answered, honey. Okay. Because it says keys on the ring. There's too many options out there. Sister girl got too many options. There's decision, unconventional. And he feel like he's being stringed alone. And that she may be out there having one night stands. Okay. Now I know he ain't thinking about his one night stands and stressing him out. Because a man think about his one night stands. He out there uh, with an ego chest out. Okay. So, but if he thinking about another woman's one night stand. Uh, a relationship that he is, has some type of... Um, bond to and it's a soul tie to he can't let this relationship go and when he calling her doing breaks uh doing plays or whatever he calling however he doing it before the game she is heavy on his mind because he thinks she out there sneaking around okay and doing something she ain't got no business to be doing okay because she didn't come to the game like she opposed to okay so he feel like he's being strung along in this relationship and the clock right here says need time take time cycles again it's like this is cycles okay you've been going through this so this mature woman could be a relationship that he probably been with okay but it's like time to heal again you got to heal in order to get rid of this karmic relationship because unless you, you unless you heal girl you're gonna think that you're supposed to keep on holding on to this relationship 
okay but once you heal you're gonna realize that relationship was toxic as hell and i should have never held on to it as long as i did but it says right here be lighthearted finding out things coming to light you gotta adapt and heal so yeah it's like he found out things had came to light oh before this game and his head was not in the game it was on some lady who was being trifling girl okay and this woman has a hold on him I don't know if he is his mother is currently in his life or his mother is a dominant figure in his life but this woman is coming in as somebody that's very much important to him almost like a mother figure and not like a mother figure like oh she just like my mom no it's almost like he he's holding on to her like a kid will hold on to their mother okay and that's that karmic relationship thing that's why he's holding on to it it's like there's something in him that trigger him from a childhood that he don't want to let this go and it's cycles of this okay so let's pull on this courtship let's find out because she out there doing something low low vibrational okay let's find out more about this courtship card but it's already talking about a breakup and she out there with somebody honey is she out there with tom brady's son girl who was that honey because this damar okay we got another gentleman here okay and this gentleman know about damar okay even if damar don't know about him because you see him looking at him okay damar over here looking at his home we want his home to be good okay but he keep on getting these messages of concerns okay with this low vibrational energy he want a fresh start which means cycles he constantly asking for a fresh start from this person okay this could be somebody that was with him before he had anything okay she could be a Caucasian, honey. Yeah, she could be. Because it's a sister card in here. She ain't came out yet. So, it's some Caucasian uh, young female that's stressing him out right now. Okay? And she done went out there and found her, Tom Brady. Okay, I'm just saying, girl. So, let's see. Let's pull some cards on. Okay, we're going to find out more about this courtship. What do we need to know about this courtship card here? Anything we need to know about this courtship with this other gentleman? Nothing from that deck. Let's see. The courtship card and this gentleman. Why is it here? With Damar. Girl. So, somebody traveling and meeting each other. Somebody is, it says, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues coffee time with the coffee cup it's like meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted friendship now this person could be feeling like oh my god oh my god damar you're so insecure i'm just meeting up with bradley to, to have a cup of coffee to talk it's not a big deal it's not a big deal well why is this here okay this is a big deal honey Okay, why is the mountain here? The obstacles. Okay, you saying this is in his head? Okay, why did this come out saying that there's so many options here? One night standing it. Okay, what's going on? Sus? Okay, this is what she's telling him. And she constantly telling him stuff like that. So, let's get, let's see, what do we, we, we want to get uh damar through this okay because right now he he's in critical condition so let's see what do the divine message that he needs to get him through this okay because this baby hurting in all type of ways okay whether it's through parents coaches or a girlfriend that's being trifling girl okay okay divine angels give us the, a message for damar to help him get through this okay we want to help damar get through this Okay, that's a lot. And we're going to take all of them. Because the Mar needs a lot to get through this. Okay? So, the cards that we have that came out here, he needs to trust. It says, allow me the divine. Okay? Not the girlfriend. Not no parents. Not no coaches. It says, allow me the divine to give. Okay? You my deepest longing. Trusting you will know exactly how to handle them. Okay? So, it's like a giving. He needs to trust and have faith. Okay? In love, okay, it says divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation. Only love itself. So it says, oh man, it seems like he, this person is his everything, okay? And the divine says that no source, no person, place, or thing is your salvation. 
Nothing is your salvation tomorrow. Only love itself. Okay? Oh. Again, faith. You, it says miraculously. Okay? Because we do need a miracle right now. To get him through this. Because he got a broken heart. And he's hurt. Okay? So we got to get him through this. And he really need a lot of faith to get through this. And know, and trust. He got to trust the divine in this. Okay? <sighs> miraculously amazingly everything i need always come love is opening me to receive beyond anything i can imagine okay and you need to stay grounded baby keep your feet on the ground because it seems like he want a new start but he keep on having cycles with this young lady she constantly on his mind okay and she constantly being sneaky she probably constantly breaking up with him okay playing games with him she she is very mean to him whoever she is she mean she all sneaky means something, but it said, stay grounded, Damar. It says, many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. So I don't know if this lady takes his dignity. People probably haven't seen her snap on him before. Um, uh, he probably tried to keep it quiet and secretive, but um, it's like his dignity, okay? You need to get your dignity back, okay? Stay grounded. And then guidance, honey. It says, when you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed start to follow. So, it seems like he needs some type of guidance. And the guidance that he needs is divine, a divine intervention, okay? To help him get back up, walking, being strong again, and to help heal his heart right now. Because right now, he needs all those components right now for him to recover, okay? So, you guys pray for Damar, okay? He's a young man, um, possibly with a broken heart. And he's in the hospital right now. So, he really needs uh, divine intervention right now. And there's something he needs to call on, okay? He needs to call on, but for, until he's able to call on for himself, you guys, let, let us be his uh, prayer team and, and so that he can get back better, okay? So, that's going to be the um, reading for Damar Hamlin. I hope you guys... Um, got some insight from this. Um, catch me on the next one, okay? I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.